the man who puts it all together, the man who loves the soil and the horse, John Costa. Mr. Master of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And before I say anything else, it would be remiss of me not to congratulate Mick Goss and Summerhill on nine years of champion breeder in South Africa. And Mick, wherever you are, be upstanding and a big hand for Mickey and his team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly humbling to be the one who accepts the award of champion breeder when it belongs in actual fact to the horses that we breed and the people within our organization who make it work. To our horses, who between them have amassed 144 winners and an impressive 34 and a half million rand worldwide, we salute you and we revere you. You have made us proud. You have forged friendships and brought us hope and joy. You have taken us to faraway lands on crusades of excitement and exhilaration. You have encouraged us to dream. When your hard work is done, it is us who get the glory and the fame, when essentially it all belongs to you. To our staff and management, you will notice that all the men are here tonight because the girls refused to give up their day job and their night job of falling down their precious mares. And as we speak now, we're getting messages. Possible dream, chestnut filly, by VAR, 58 kilograms, a stunner. Any bids from the floor? <laughs> <laughs> but on Cloverfly, I can honestly say the girls rule. They're a phenomenal team and we're extremely proud of them. To Grant, one of the most popular men in the horse racing industry, always fair, always happy to help everybody. You're a great team, man. <laughs> to the men in the trenches, Peter Soss and George, you always try to achieve to be the best, and you're certainly doing a great job. There's always mud on your boots, there's always sweat on your brows, and there's never too much work that isn't worthy of you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> to Henny, our bean counter, he keeps us on our toes all the time. The people love him when he pays out the money, but they hate him when he collects the cash. <laughs> Henny, we couldn't do it without you. I'd also like to pay special tribute to John Gatt, our farrier. It's taken. You don't understand what it takes to get John Gatt out of his apron and to get him here tonight. But he gives the word workaholic new meaning. He bought new clothes for himself yesterday just to be here. And John, you're an integral part of our team. Thank you for everything you do. Our vet, Robin Moore. Always sensible, always calm, massive work ethic. Robin, you're a very, very special man, and we thank you greatly. And then to all our grooms, guys, our grooms mostly come from the Karoo, and mostly they are all family men. We try wherever we can to employ families of our grooms, and they're a fantastic bunch of guys at home. I also like to take this opportunity to thank my partners. You know, in the, in the late 80s, the Costa brothers were very lucky to have won this award four times. But I never had the cash to buy a ticket to get up here to go to the awards. And my uncle Wilfred did a, a great job in, uh, in accepting them for us. And it's just great, Vaughn, to see you breed such a great horse here tonight. Well done, my cousin. <laughs> Nine years ago, when Marcus and Dup and myself and Donnie joined forces, our boutique stud produced 13 yearlings in the first year. We produced 24 yearlings in the second year and 30 in the third year. And then six years ago, we decided to expand a little bit. We bought a number of mares. Chris joined us in 2010, Bernard in 2011. And this place has just taken off since then. <clears throat> These are men of great vision. They have all the sectors of this industry at heart. They, walk the, they talk the talk <clears throat> and they most certainly walk the walk. We are extremely lucky and blessed to have people like this in our industry. I owe a huge amount to my wife, Lana Ann, and our three precious children. 
They've stuck with me through, through, through thick and thin, through bad and good. It's very humbling tonight to have my dearest mother with me. A nation is built on its mothers. And our family is most certainly built around our matriarch, our mother, our grandmother. Thank you, mother. We adore and love you. I'd also very much like to pay tribute to my late grandfather, Ralph. He nurtured my love of the horses. My father, Peter, taught me everything that is good about life, about nature, about how to care, and about how to forgive. He was a special man. And to Captain L, he made me, not the other way around. <laughs> I'd also like to congratulate all the winners tonight. All the nominees tonight, you can be so proud. Especially to Team Snaith, you guys have been absolutely awesome this season. We all know exactly what you put into the game, how you treat your owners and the horses in your care, and very well done, you deserve it. <laughs> I'd also like to say to Samanga Kamala, it is so special in the South Africa that we live in to be able to have a man of your caliber as our champion jockey this year. And we applaud you and we salute you, Samanga. Well done. <laughs> and then, of course, to all the grooms who care for our horses, the jockeys for your expertise, the trainers for your horsemanship and support, and the owners for your investment and passion. You keep us breeders alive, and we are grateful to you all. Thank you also tonight for all of you who are here to witness these awards. And even if you're not on the, on the, on the stadium tonight, I hope that your, your turn will be soon. And to everybody that has um, made tonight possible, to Bob and to Merle, thank you so much for all your input. It's been a wonderful evening. And then ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, let us be the custodians of this magnificent and noble thoroughbred that we love so much. Let us take care of his comfort, his welfare, and his dignity forever. God bless and thank you. Well, there you go, Mickey. Somebody can make a longer speech than you. John Custer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>